I am a recovering alcoholic and I do actually have leukemia. When I first started, I used to really struggle. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not good with heat, which is why for me, the hot yoga was such a challenge. Um, I mean, I've got to the stage now where the heat really doesn't bother me. Um, but those first few lessons, I didn't, I didn't even bother trying to encourage myself. I didn't order myself to carry on, I just lay down. I first started Bikram Yoga in May 2012. Um, I know personally, my first few lessons were absolute torture and I can remember, you know, myself talk during the classes, you know, why am I doing this? This is hell, I'm never coming back. And then I'd walk out the door and the only word I can use to describe it is this feeling of being grounded. Practicing yoga, there's the spiritual side, there's the physical side, and then there's um, the emotional side, the mental side. In the yoga, there's, there is very much about you focusing on you and forget about everyone else. It doesn't matter what everyone else is doing. So, you know, the person at the front of the class doing all the postures perfectly, forget them. Um, you just focus on what you do. Um, the Buddhism, very much so. Um, it's all about going inside. Buddhism, it was just a pure fluke. I think it's an antidote to modern living, frankly. You know, our lives are so full of stuff that I think people are naturally attracted to, you know, whatever the discipline is, where you can just be still, be quiet. Uh, my work is stressful because of deadlines, and those deadlines are beyond my control. We're, we're constantly reacting to, to other people's deadlines. They say that, you know, adults don't breathe properly, babies do. We, we unlearn these good things, so everyone's hunched over their desks, everything's restricted. You know, people's posture suffers and they get backache and they get heart problems, blood pressure problems because they don't relax and, you know, they get jaw ache because it's always clenched. Um, so I think there's a lot to be said that, you know, our world isn't perhaps as, as wonderful as um, we sometimes think it is. There was such a thing as a panacea for 21st century Western world living, then I think some quiet time should be prescribed, some free time. Because I think at the moment, um, it's almost as if you're defective if you've got any spare time, which is a nonsense really. Because, you know, you have to turn your TV off. You have to, you know, put the car in the garage, you can't keep running it on and on and on forever because something will pack up and I think we humans are just the same. You asked me about my yoga journey, it's a constant journey. That self-discipline, the yoga has pulled that out of me. Um, now I only sit down or lay down if I'm going to fall down, you know, if I'm going to faint.